This is going to be a quick and easy ice dye. As usual, the shirt is 100% cotton and it's been prepped with soda ash solution for at least 20 minutes and then it's been spun uh, to a moist state in a washing machine. Okay, as usual, I'm going to mark the center line of the shirt so I get the collar and go under the armpits, grab that section, pull it out, use that to find the center point of the bottom, mark that. And I completely forgot to turn the shirt inside out to begin with. Okay, I can still see the marks, so it's good. I'll go ahead and go over the mark again. There we go. Okay. So we take those marks. That becomes the fold line. Grab the sleeves, pull the bottom sleeve through the top, line up the seams, line up the other side of the sleeve, make sure that's smooth, then come back Flip this, grab the opposite end, and where the collar is, I'm sorry, where the tag is, and pull those forward so that you line that up. Get a little too much on my table right now. Smooth that out and make sure the sleeve is smooth. Okay. Now you can either go with the straight design, straight across, maybe a curve. Just a diagonal, whatever you want to go with. Since it's folded in half, if you do anything that's like a diagonal it'll actually become a peak. So I am going to do this. And I might want to pull that a little lower. Okay, so we're going to go with the bottom one and ignore that one. So I'm just going to start pinching this together with a standard accordion fold. And these are uh, about three quarters of an inch or so. Touch up some of the alignment. And then grab the sinew. Couple of passes with that. That slipped loose. That doesn't happen very often. Go ahead and go around a third one. And then take a couple more. And make sure that's tight. And then 
just kind of tie that together loosely. Okay. Now, each of the two halves are just going to be a crunch or a scrush. Scrush? Not sure what a scrush is. Let's go with scrunch. Scrunch this up. one rubber band. There goes a second rubber band. Okay, so that's one. <coughs> okay, so that's one side. And we'll go to the top and do the same thing. And off to dye it. So there's only three colors being used for this. Better black, charcoal gray, and mist gray. So the top is almost all better black. Maybe a little charcoal, I'm undecided. The bottom is going to have a little bit of charcoal here and then stuff. <laughs> into the mist gray. And what that was is I'm working on another video that has a lotus pattern with the forceps and that's the noise it makes when one of the forceps flies off. And that forcep made it about five feet in the air. So be careful with those large forceps. They're under a lot of tension. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Now that the ice is all on, I'll let this sit until it melts, which might take a while because the highs are now in the mid 80s. So no putting it outside for 110 degrees.
it's been about four hours or so since the first side was done and the ice is melted. So I'm going to add more dye to this. Go ahead and do black and the charcoal gray on this side again. And then probably just the mist gray on this side. So let's put the dye on. at least another 18 hours and it'll probably be longer and then we'll do the washout it's been two full days since this was dyed so let's go ahead and do the washout So that's what it's like currently. All of this lower section should lighten up quite a bit when it's washed, but we'll see what happens. Sometimes it doesn't lighten up as much as I would hope for, but quite a bit of that should come out. <laughs> 